Hey, what's up guys? So this is Rhythm Box, and this is from a plugin company called Pitch Innovations. I saw this plugin on my YouTube recommendation feed and I was like, this looks like a really useful MIDI effect slash regular plugin that is also a sampler, but it's able to control rhythm parts. And just using my keyboard directly, I can use the numbers on my keyboard to play back these stunning rhythms. So for hi-hat patterns and percussion parts and everything like that, this is the perfect plugin. Not to mention, this plugin is actually really reasonably priced, probably one of the most reasonably priced plugins I've ever seen ever. Right now they have an introductory price of $9. It's gonna go up to $29 after some time in August. Yeah, it says 15 days from now. But right now you can get it for nine bucks and it is a super useful, simple plugin. How it works is you have this ability to use just the sampler or you can load all your different individual plugins directly into this rhythm box. I can even load in like Keyscape and Omnisphere if I want to, or Serum even. But like all your plugins, it scans for your plugins first and you can use your plugins or you can just use the sampler. So right now I have this hi-hat preset loaded up and if I click here, you can see all the different presets that come with Rhythmbox. You have different drum kits, you have percussion kits, ethnic kits, even film kits, and even synth pattern parts, as well as shape presets as well. And Rhythmbox really does operate off this design of using shapes to distinguish rhythm. And if I hover over these shapes right here, you can see each shape has its own individual note value and you can click and drag to rearrange and change the different parts for each rhythmic preset. Okay, so for this example, I have like a little trap idea going on here. I have like an 808 and some bells going on in the background. You can hear it. but not really much percussion. And I want to add some trap hats into this idea. So this is the perfect plugin for it. I'm using the Hi-Hats Trap 140 preset. And as I'm playing back, I can literally just press one through eight on my keyboard and play back these different individual rhythms. And you'll hear what I'm talking about. So that is so simple to make some rolling trap hats. Like I have never seen a plugin that has simplified the hi-hat trap pattern thing as well as rhythm box has. Now, as I was playing that in live the whole time, it was recording my MIDI right down here. So I can literally just drag this to Logic Pro. And you can see I have all of this MIDI data right here to go in. And you see that it's perfectly quantized to the beat. You can just like open this up, zoom in, and you can see all of these hits are perfectly quantized. And if we play it back, in a matter of seconds, I have trap hats on my trap idea. Like that is just so useful. I love this plugin. Okay, so that's one way to do it, just using the presets. I'm gonna drag this over here though, and just show you that you can actually literally clear out all of these steps and add your own custom rhythms to these rhythmic cells, I guess you would call them. So if I wanted to add maybe like this one over here and this, we can test out and see what this sounds like. That might not sound very good, but we can play it back and just see if it sounds good. kind of interesting, right? Now, the really cool thing is if we decide that we don't like the samples that it's triggering, we can actually change that too. So if we go to settings here, we can see for this first shape, it's triggering D2, the hi-hat that's on there. And then also we can see it's triggering G2, which is a percussion two. And then for the triangle, it's triggering C sharp two, which is a hi-hat followed by E2, which, which is another hi-hat. And it's all working off this sampler right here where you can actually load in your own samples if you want to, but this is just one of the factory kits that I'm using and that is where it's triggering from. So if I wanted to change this to something else, let's just hear it back again. Let's say I don't want that percussion sound in there. I just go into the settings and find that percussion part and take off H and move it to maybe percussion one. Go back down again. That might work. Let's try it. And then I actually need to just move this back over here. Yep, 
Yeah, that, that works pretty good. So what I want to do is just add some more shapes in. You notice that when I clicked in here, just added a circle. We can add something else though, like let's try maybe this one. See what it does. And that one's a little crazy. That's pretty cool. We can do that and then maybe do this one over here. And uh, I don't know. Let's see if we drag it back in what it gives us. So it just randomly assigns the samples, but we can always change them to something else. And maybe take it off one of the percussion, put it back on a hat again. And it's triggering some open hi-hats to, let's just maybe move these over here. Mm, that's okay, let's just see what it all sounds like when we play back. Now you really have to just go through and experiment because right now these rhythms are sounding a little off because I haven't spent the time to actually experiment with different things, but you can also try another preset if you want. They have another hi-hat trap preset here and let's just play this one back. Yeah, and that's pretty cool. So that is how you load your different shapes and where you go into the settings. You can change what samples it's actually triggering. And then you also have this musical typing reference here so you can see what it's doing as you trigger your keyboard. Because it's triggering these different keys that are triggering the samples. And each one of these numbers is a different cell. And if you want to click the magic dice, it will auto load a bunch of different shapes for you too. And you can click this again and get something randomized every single time. Now, like I said, you can load your own samples into this as well. Your own drum samples from splice, machina content, loop cloud, wherever you get your samples, you can load them directly into rhythm box and get out the gate really quickly with creating different rhythms. Now it's not just hi-hat presets, but there's also percussion presets as well. So if we go into shakers here, for instance, got shaker presets, we got tams, and we also have bongos. Congas, and there's even ethnic presets here as well and film presets now some of these don't have kits that auto load with them they're just the pattern parts so if i click on the epic perks one here you'll see that these aren't actually epic drums these are just patterns for different playing styles that you can load in. So some of them, just keep in mind, have kits loaded with them, like the hi-hat trap ones. And I think the house one has one, two. Yeah, it has a kit loaded for that. There's also kick patterns. Which is really cool. Now, the other thing I like to mention too for the rhythms is you have controls in the settings over things like velocity, gate length, and even note delay. So you can actually offset the hits and make them sound more natural, like a human's playing them. And then also in the settings too, we have options to change the different skins. So right now it's on Arctic Frost, but we can change it to Grooved Noir, and it gives us this really nice easy on the eyes user interface. You can change the side from 80, 90, 100, up to 
You can give it a custom tempo, change the keyboard type, and then turn off the display note values when you hover over it, as well as MIDI record enable automatically on DAW playback. Okay, so that is an overview of Rhythmbox. This is a super useful plugin. And keep in mind, it's not just for percussion, drums, and hi-hats, even though it is really good for that. You can also trigger note content as well by loading in your own plugins from different developers or loading in your own samples into the sampler. Okay, guys, that's pretty much all I want to cover for right now. This is something I'm still exploring and having a lot of fun with. And for $9, you really can't beat it. This is like I said, one of the most reasonably priced plugins I've ever used. And don't forget too, if you don't want to use the sampler part of it, you can trigger your MIDI with the MIDI effects plugin version. And in Logic Pro, it's really nice because there's a dedicated slot for MIDI effects. I can just click it here, go to audio units, pitch innovations, and then we have rhythm box MFX right here. You can load in whatever drum sampler you want into here. So for instance, I could go to Native Instruments Battery 4, Go in here and load up a kit. I'm not even sure what kit this is here. But then you could literally just trigger it from here. Now you have to go through to the settings and figure out where it's triggering to. And you can change where it triggers to. And for battery, I think it starts, yeah, at C1. So you just change this to B, C1. And you can see that it's already triggering. And then you can go through to each individual cell and see where each of these hits are. So this one's on D1. So I would just literally go back in and change the next one to be D1. So on and so forth. So yeah, that is how you use both versions of it. I know I went over that last one really quickly, but that is how you go into it and you can use it both ways, either as a plugin or as a MIDI effects plugin. Anyways, guys, I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. I highly recommend it. Rhythmbox is super useful and super inexpensive, which is always good. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.